Now, they were supposed to, which is um, by rule of law and principle, this is where you see that subsection 95, subsection A, 2, 2A, and B, where the debt is and all of the instruments that they send as bills are supposed to be paid by the United States company owners because it's their debt. Their debt. Right. So all of the bills that people have been getting are actually statements on the account right. and not really bills. Right, not bills at all. Now, what it's supposed to be, they're not supposed to send it to you. Right. They're supposed to send it to them. They've been sending it to you double dipping. Right. This is where the argument of accepted for value has its origin. Okay, right. Are we clear? Exactly. Are we clear? Exactly. Now, by right law, that's supposed to be a process without you having to jump through hoops. Right, it's both law. You, you ain't, it's supposed to give you a voucher. Right. What? Right. You, yeah. right. So when you see these things accepted for value, financial statements, and now trying to authenticate the birth, all of them are dealing with the Cedars Trust. Right. All right. Controlled by the Jesuits. Jesuits, right. Point. In order to be holder in due course, you must be in your possession, in physicality. Right. The original instruments with wedding signatures unaltered, not modified. Right. Outside that, you're not holder in due course. Right, whoever has that paper. All right, so, you already know they ain't going to give you no damn certificate about nothing. Right. So, so anybody with common sense knows right. that you can authenticate that birth certificate and all you did was authorize it. Now you can't have a future suit on the fraud. Exactly. Because you authorized it right. thinking you're going to get a benefit. Right. So now you're part of the fraud. Exactly. That, that's a multiple. Exactly. But the process sounds like you really going to get all these jewels and these candies and, you know, everybody <laughs> got that. You shit. <laughs> no, really what it is. You know, this is why even though I examine those systems, you don't see me pumping UCCs. Or any, even though it's tempting. Because what they've done, they put everybody's life on the market in a commercial venue. Right. In other words, everything is in commerce. But understand that platform is a fraud platform. It's not a legitimate platform. It's an arbitrary platform. But yet... The attraction is people are seeking to restore their unalienable rights on a commercial platform. But then you've got to file some papers and make agreements with your signature there. You cannot claim an unalienable right on a lienable platform. Right. It's a contradiction. Right. But because you know about the fraud, they can now hold you to it because you're not ignorant of the law. <laughs> Now you just justified their position. So it all looks all beautiful, but they've got a whole bunch of millions of other people that just have relieved more of their debt. Right. And in the future, they can't sue for reparations. Right, exactly, because they're part of the fraud. Be, no, if you seek one penny of benefit in a fraud, rather than refute it, you cannot now call that platform fraudulent. You can't, somebody else can't. If you saw the benefit and they got your signature anywhere or any evidence that you sought to participate in that and they made an offer and you bought into it, they don't have to deliver shit and you got no future suit for reparations. And now I'm keeping this very simple and close out. Can it be reversed? Unalienable rights are akin to birthrights. Right. Governments are in place to secure unalienable rights. They have no rights to give, nor to regulate. They have only obligations and duties. Outside of that, they have no right of existence whatsoever. And when that line is breached by government, it is to be dissolved. Are we clear? However, if you assign them again, meaning apply for them again, you have assigned them on an individual basis on what is called oratorial, oratorial or written trust. At that time, you just assign them as your trustee. And this is what they've been doing, getting you to contract with them, thinking you're getting out of the contract, and then taking your unalienable rights, offering it to them on a commercial venue, and you ain't getting no damn unalienable rights because they don't have any give. 
They use whatever you give them as another means to go right back in that sister QB trust because they ain't going to show you them instruments because they got signatures that are longer than the instruments themselves. They don't have room. They have to put what you call them alonges. When you do, yes. When you do research, their instruments have alonges on them. A birth certificate will end up having alonges attached to them that literally make books. And they are bank bonds. So is their marriage certificates. Now that's the truth. So when you hear me talking about them things, I talk about them because I know how things operate. Right. I ain't jumping in that pool. I can swim too, but I ain't jumping in that shit. <laughs> you know, really, and this is really what, if you really understand this thing, if you have more than two eyes, and you look at the Clearfield Doctrine, you look past all that surface stuff. That's what it's really all about. It is this simple. Any member of a political body of bank or trustees and assigned administrators over local trust regencies regulated by archbishops of the different regional territories under the Pope of Rome and the Spanish Inquisition and the Doctrine of Discovery, which they exercise in the courts this right. very day, right. exactly. are the regulars of the commercial codes for human trafficking, including eating the babies. Yeah. And these people keep going to them. Say, I'm a fine mind, you say, say, and get my peanut butter sandwiches. Keep messing with them. Clear for doctrine. We ain't got to go through all that hoop. Y'all assholes ain't government. You have no sovereign power whatsoever. It ain't an issue whether there's gold or silver coins. All those instruments you pass around is private commercial paper, which is why you can tax these people. Because it's your shit. It ain't even theirs. Right. And they keep on agreeing by making application. Well, and in doing so, they just call them sovereign. And so the contract becomes the law. Right. Then they tell you, you know, you got a lot of contracts. No, you don't. You didn't create that stuff. That ain't your contract. Those are linear instruments created by them, having nothing to do with you. And then they create a serious trust you have no access to with a name that sounds like it's yours, and they get you arguing about whether or not it's you. It's like you just go to Michael Jackson's own set. Oh, man, I like that. I'm going to put a copyright on that. Go ahead and try it. <laughs> Not that they ain't going to take your fiat, but in the argument, you ain't winning. At what point we don't get this, you, you, those are copyrighted instruments for the United States Service Corporation. Your whole military complex operates on that. You think you're getting your hands on it? I don't think so. I don't care what they tell you. I say this, and this is why I always tell people to set up a trust. Even if you don't totally understand it. What you must do, and the only way you're going to beat this beast is by starving. There's no other way. Right. You will not get in the swimming pool with the alligators and talk about how to swim. <laughs> no, it just doesn't work that way. You will come out with less weight. They're for life. They're going to No, it ain't Jenny Craig. How do you know the alligator teeth? You know, we don't get it. We, and, and, and it's... We're so naive that this man does the same thing. Oh, he don't even change the game. He just changes the name. 35 years ago, HMOs. Mm. Then site grassroots transportation departments. Then UCCs. Then financial one statements. Now birth certificate all that. All of them trying to get into the Cedars Trust. Count on one hand how many people that you know that have achieved the processes and got their hand on that seat. Even that European sister that just recently they locked her up. Heather Tucci. She went through all the process, perfected it. Oh, she had this thing smooth. She's a European too. So you know, she, she got it light, right? <laughs> they had her in ecclesiastical court with doors closed and no one allowed. That's the highest court operating on the planet. Ecclesiastical court. If it wasn't for people that was clamoring, I mean, people are waiting, they would have disappeared her. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I repeat, if it were not for conscious people making so much noise 
around the planet, they would have disappeared to her. Did she do anything wrong? No. She did the process perfectly like they said it was supposed to be. Remember, these are their preforms. Nobody makes these UCC forms. They make them preforms, present them to people. They consider this, and I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go. If I have a beachfront property, and I say, y'all, I'm thanking y'all for coming down to the house and reawakening the line to that beachfront property, and y'all and all by you come swim, you know, in the beachfront and all that stuff, on both sides and stuff like that, make sure you bring a bucket of water, though. <laughs> it's like it's somebody, it's like somebody with a peanut farm talking about come visit me, but make sure you bring peanut butter sandwiches to get through the gate. Mm -hmm. You don't see no more peanuts. <laughs> Anybody that has successfully accessed the Sister QB Trust does not need fiat. Exactly. They don't need no. I don't need that. All I need is my signature. Well, it is discharged. It never happens, does it? Nope. But they always need a couple hundred to mm -hmm. take this process. Give me a. What, what, what do you need this for? That's like Scott's store. That's like Scott's paper company asking, asking you for a roll of paper. I don't want to stick it. <laughs> baloney company executive asking you for, for a baloney sandwich. <laughs> this ain't happening. But, now, I am not dismissing it because that's how things operate. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about we must start rejecting Rome and rendering under Caesar what is Caesar's. And stop eating into the temptation well, here, I didn't give it to them, but I'll give you the apple to bite. Name Europeans. Now, I've been all over this country, radio, radio stations, etc. I ran into a lot of people that's been doing UCCs one way or another. And I'm not saying that any household work. That's, that's the card game they give you, because that's what they set up. But I am saying they never honor it. They dance you around for two, three years, and as soon as you get to a point of going through the gate, they say, oh, you forgot to file this other form of the IRS. Right. Mm -hmm. And the other guy, if I tell you this name, you got, they dancing you through. Meanwhile, three or four years, they can soak you up, taking your ship here and there. And and, 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 and you can give thousands of energy to someone who's the middleman to sell you the process. Who, if he completed the process and he sold it to you, he shouldn't need your fiat. Matter of fact, he'd be so busy, busy on vacation and stuff, he just want to tell you what's up for just good measure. But they never do do that. Name five people that you know that have successfully completed the process. And when there's millions that have done it, past and present, name five. Name five, no, name two. The closest you got is that, that sister that they just locked up. That European sister, and they tried to disappear. So I'm just saying that to say this. I'm just saying this to say this. What we need to do is start rebutting and rejecting Rome and rejecting their processes. Because number one, while it looks all beautiful, they never honor it because they are totally dishonorable, because the United States Service Corporation was set up for the specific purpose of undermining the Republic. What point these people don't get it? The platform itself is corrupt. From the top to the bottom. This is why the Manchurians are dumping the T-Bond. They ain't filed no UCCs. Did you see Zuckerberg and his cousins when they was going to IPO going to file some UCCs? Or did they go to Switzerland and nationalize? <laughs> I'm going to repeat. Zuckerberg, Facebook. A yeah. couple years ago when they went IPO. Mm -hmm. did, did they go and file some UCCs, financial statements, or did they go to Switzerland and nationalize? 
And our was be even shit back. Right. And everything back. But what makes our people think that they're special? And why are these issues not promoted amongst our people? Go look this up, everybody, and we're going to close out. There is misnomer in this dispensation, but this one it is. Wealthy white Americans reject 14th Amendment citizenship, reject their U.S. citizenship, and nationalize in other countries. Now, this is what they've been doing. This is why they did um, House Joint Resolution, I think it's 20, 2748, something like that. And it's under the guise of, of employment. And this is where they're going to all the countries and taking all their accounts, seizing all their finances. And ultimately, what, um, what Trump is doing right now, he's enforcing all emergency executive orders, seizing all the accounts, freezing all the accounts, and following new UCCs. He's cutting them off at the legs. Because if he don't, Everything collapses. Oh, exactly. And you know why else? Because people all over this country and outside this country have been nationalized and they've been putting them papers out. They don't even know them all perfected. But guess what it does? It kills them bonds. It doesn't matter how many safes they got them in. You can't capture them. You gotta kill them. That's, that's why I like um, oh, my man. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> He did it to me, man. I'm sorry, my bad. But, I mean, well, I'll just say briefly. Um, that's that's why I like um like uh if two years ago, let's say you wanted to work at what they call a hospital or work in medical, um, a lot of things that you got prerequisite was was taken care of for whom you were going to work for. And in experience, you know, I have a very close family member in the medical field, and now you have to quote unquote transact for everything out of your own energy, whether it's a so-called physical, PPD, whatever it is you want to do if you're like CNA, GNA. So that's like one of those clues that these people don't have what they've had because, you know, the gold, you know, the gold standard is coming back. Us nationalizing is what I'm saying. Us, you know, being national, us you know, declaring and proclaiming our nationality is it, it, the spin of that um, is these companies are unable to fund things that they could in the past. So now they're looking for you to do it. But ultimately what's being said really is stop, um, stop coming to us, stop using us, just finally declare and proclaim your nationality. Like that's what even Trump is saying in that recent executive order that, that the mother shared with, you know, and that's just kind of what I just wanted to share. These people can't even support their own BS anymore. Yes. Like, Our platforms are yeah. turning in on them. Yes. All right, so let's, let's, be, let's be blunt. Let's be blunt and we'll walk out. The, the, the demo platform that they set up in 1861, the principle of Roman fiat operations for unum cyclum enforcement, and they do it over and over again in different forms as long as the people believe them. Has a general cycle of 330 years. That the one they did, that Nixon did in 71, lived to this point, is amazing. They got all of their dark priests together to keep this thing pushed, but they pushed it to the end. And what they've done, they've pledged the lives of the last couple of generations. So they, they plan to kill off a lot of people because those are bonds that can never, never they can't never um, compensate for. Right. Um, so the wars are not just the military operations the way people think. They literally have pledged the lives of people. They for real. Yeah. Yeah, so they got you know what I mean? And so um, this is why they ignore ninety five um ninety five A. But this is also why I did the reversion of our you know, calling them on it. You know, and I tell people to use reversion and interject that in all of your dispensations with them, even, even if you're still on a learning curve, because what it does, it kills the bond. It kills the capacity for them to, to move a bond 
See, because you got to remember, governments know that the jurisdictional lines that the masses think exist don't really exist. Are we clear? The passports that's forced on them is not used by those or the oligarchy. Are we clear? The jurisdictional lines of the of the regency in the on the regency operations in actual government functions is known by all politicians, but is not known by the masses. The fiat, the masses are convinced that the fiat is money, while those who operate it know it isn't. Me and Dr. Naila was talking, she was talking earlier about things that's taking place here in, in this territory of Wilmington with a certain uh, operative body politics buying up all the property mm -hmm. in here and even getting rid of um, some people that was in the political platform of Asiatic origin mm -hmm. in this last election they had. Mm -hmm. And we were discuss discussing, I was reminding her, what we have to remember is when Europeans are on their yachts, lighting cigars with 100 notes and stuff like that, and people say, man, he's really wealthy because he's lighting cigars with $100 bills and stuff, you understand? And he's picking up the dog duty when he's walking his dog in the park with 100 notes and throwing it in the trash and stuff. And, and the real deal, because he knows it's private commercial paper. It's not money. It is only money for the dumb masses. They're giving it freely for unum sanctum operations, as an example. Our concept on how things, you have to work for the commercial paper that you get, which is not money, commercial paper. It has no value unless you transfer it to a bank system because it's really private. Therefore, they can measure your energy Input and output, which you see in Executive Order 11490, it's energy military operations. It's bookkeeping. It's bookkeeping. Now, but the masses have to be continued in the smokescreen that they have monetary value. So now when the masses start waking up to this, they start arguing, well, see, there ain't no gold and silver coin because Article 1, Section 10 says the state can't coin anything but silver and gold coin for money and stuff like that. And see, in 1933, they took all the gold, all the money. No, BS, that's a diversion. It's the estate and the global estate trust that the corporate entities are operating on as secondary agents for the local who answer to the county, that answer to the state, that answer to the United States Service Corporation in Puerto Rico, that answer to Westminster, England, that answer to the Jesuit Opus Day and the Pope. That's the operations. And if you don't get that through your head, that you think you're interjecting yourself in that line of hierarchy, getting your hand on any damn Cedars Trust, you're out to damn lunch. Because they will not let the domino effect take place. So the best thing, and this is what I say, you know, why be greedy? Why be selfish? The generations that have suffered before us and the children who are suffering after us, why we keep on BSing? Why don't we stop being selfish? You understand? Eat some oodles and noodles. You understand? Stop Drop the ego. Kill the bond. Stop every time he offers you something. Well, this process, you finally going to get your hand. You ain't getting shit. Get over yourself. Teach someone who doesn't know, starve the dragon. You're not going to beat him because he is a war machine. Not he got war machines. He is a war machine. Now, point is, Manchurians know that we're out to lunch because we've been trained in belief systems so long that we don't even know how to deal with intelligence because we keep interjecting our beliefs and onto that platform and it just messes up. We start really good arguments, it's like Dred Scott, that introduced that Negro and black stuff and the rest of the argument is already dead. Mm -hmm. Plain of an error and this continues with us. So it is known, so fire across the bow. Three years ago, the Manchurians wrote a scathing report against the United States Service Corporation on how they were treating us. Then they started dumping them bonds. 
Then the Europeans start eating their tail. That means they had to start printing new derivatives to deal with the bonds that were being turned in, right? Because remember, governments don't deal with the, uh, um, the dollars, what they call it, the petrodollar thing. Right. They deal with pristine bonds, treasury bonds. Right. So you deal with instruments that have millions and billions on instruments. They were just honoring all of them. So what make you think they want to honor UCCs? You know, this including them dropping them buildings in New York because they stole Germany's gold to try to, 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 to give them longer legs, which means they was dead. Again, Germany, number one ally, Germany and France. They stole Germany's gold and then blew them buildings up and they sent Muslims in with a box cutter. Mm. And how many people in the world bought that argument and still follow behind that BS? The world is tired of them. So the Manchurians put out, out out of a pool of over 20 million, uh, roughly around six and a half perfected assassins spread out on the world to counter European colonial operations. Negro leaders still marching around talking about black jobs and all that kind of stupid crap, keeping their people busy and dead. Yeah. And the Manchurians start, start dropping bodies. Now, then also the Russians. Also, because Russia, remember what they did to the families when they stole the Russian gold? So you got to know the history. And they've been running on Russian gold, too. Mm. See, and then the Manchurians setting up the, the Silk Road. Do you see any of them talking UCCs? <laughs> Authenticating some damn birth certificate? What is created in a fraud remains a fraud. You cannot enter a fraud platform and make it du jour. It ain't going to happen. However, you start to drag it. How do you start to drag it? Turn your hearts back to the principles of your two mothers and fathers. We gotta go, we're getting ready to throw it out. <laughs> anyway, I don't wanna go. Clearfield Doctrine, y'all. Clearfield. 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 And we'll get into that in more detail again in the future. All right? And that's on your flash stories.